Welcome to the Daily Motivational Challenge. I'm your host, Julie Wilkes, and today's motivational message is about staying motivated when you're not seeing results. Today's topic is the secret behind being successful in your fitness goals. Because it's so easy to stay motivated when you're seeing results and feeling fabulous. But it's not so easy to stay motivated when you're not seeing the results and you don't feel the way you'd hope to feel, and you've put all this time, effort, and energy into something. So I'm going to speak to this topic in two points. And the first are for those of you who are just beginning your fitness journey or you're getting back on track. And the second are for those of you who've maybe been on your fitness journey for a while but you're hitting a plateau and you're not seeing change anymore. So for those of you who are just beginning your fitness journey or getting back on track, first of all, congratulations. I promise you, if you stick with it, you're going to feel more fabulous, more amazing, stronger, more energy, less stress, overall, just better than you've ever felt before. But you've got to stick with it and hang on. It's no coincidence that the number one day for individuals to join a gym is January 1. People are reinvigorated with the new year, new you, new possibilities, and they're really excited about making this year the year that they accomplish all their goals. It's also no coincidence that the number one or most common time that individuals cancel their gym membership is when the first few weeks of February. And the reason being is this. Individuals will adopt change for three or four weeks and really put all this energy into it. And then they don't see the results they were expecting to, so it's easy to give up and just go back to the old way that they did things. But had they stuck with it for a few more weeks, they would have seen great progress and change when it comes to their weight loss or their uh, increase in muscle tone or energy or less stress or whatever it is that they were focusing on. And the reason being is because the truth behind the body is that when it's stimulated and when it's active, it just becomes more and more powerful. But when you don't use it, you do lose it. And if you don't use muscle over time, it atrophies or dies away. And when a muscle dies away, the muscle neuron, which is the brain of the muscle, dies away, and it cannot be reinvigorated. So you actually have to develop a new muscle neuron, which takes six to eight weeks of consistent conditioning. Once you develop new muscle neurons, the muscles develop in your body, you increase your metabolic cycle, so your body's ability to burn more fat and calories, even at rest. You increase your body's ability to do more with less effort and overall become a more efficient body, which yields more results overall when it comes to just your daily living and your fitness routines. So six to eight weeks of, in, of consistent conditioning over time is the starting point to start to see change in your body. So you've got to stick with it. Stay passionate, stay strong, and on days that you're not seeing results, know that it's okay, that you will have days like that, and you've got to just get through them and move forward. Now, for those of you who have been on a fitness journey for a while, maybe you're hitting a plateau. I completely understand. This is a point in time in which we have our routine, we know what we like, we know what we're comfortable with, we get in, we get it done, we get out. And it's very frustrating when you put the time in and you're not seeing change. So what we have to do is change up what we're doing, whether it's by frequency, intensity, duration, or mode. And what I mean by that is frequency, how often we do it. The intensity, if you're used to doing steady state run, change it up so that you're doing intervals or something similar. Duration, if you're used to doing it for 30 minutes, add 10 minutes onto it here or there. Whatever it is, the goal is to hit 30 to 60 minutes most days of the week. And then finally, mode. What type of exercise are you doing? If you're always used to doing a bike, change over to a treadmill or a fitness class. Try something new. But you've got to challenge your muscles to respond differently, to think differently, and to react differently as you're working. If you change up one of these things every once in a while, I promise you, you're going to continue to stimulate your body and activate it in new ways, and you'll see change. A recent study that was released a few years ago from the American Journal of Physiology took two groups of people. One were individuals who were just beginning a fitness journey and it put them through a two-month fitness program. After that two-month fitness program, it measured how long it took them to lose the progress that they had made from an aerobic capacity perspective. It took them about two months to lose the things that they had gained from going from very fit body back into uh, where they began. Then it took another group and it put them through a fitness program for an entire year. After that year, it measured how long it took them to decrease their aerobic capacity. After three months of no exercise, these individuals had only lost 50% of their aerobic capacity. And so what this study tells us is the longer that you're consistent with your workouts and your fitness program, the longer it will take for you to lose your aerobic conditioning and the capacity you have for enduring uh, physical activity. So, Stay consistent with your workouts, persevere, get through those difficult times where you're demotivated, and have somebody in place, a support system, so on those days that you're not seeing the results and you're not feeling as fabulous as you hope to, that they're there to push you and remind you that you will be successful. Now, I'm Julie Wilkes. 
Here's wishing you a fabulous, wonderful, purposeful, intentional, goal-oriented, result-driven sort of day. Until tomorrow, make it a great day.